Okay, in this video we're going to be talking about using table variables. Real simple example, but in this example we're going to show what if you want to add your own identity field. And the way that this works, it's a little different than how you would do it with a temp table. So let's get right into it. First of all, here's an example of, um, and by the way, the, the temp table, it, it kind of does or doesn't maybe look at it as like a, you know, um, an identity field. I just want to put one in my temp table so that it's an auto number like one, two, three, four. I, I don't really care about any other aspect of it. Uh, but you still want to do that because later on, if you need to loop through those records, nothing beats a loop where you can say, give me record one, give me record two, give me record three. You know, we won't be getting into it to that level. But first of all, here's a simple table variable with three fields. Uh, it's mimicking three fields that I'm selecting out of another table. So basically, here's the declaration for the table variable. And then here's my insert statement along with the select statement. So insert into the table variable these fields, which are all the fields, these guys from this table. And then we're just going to select from the table. So here we go. Great. You know, it, it returned everything that we asked it for. But you see how these key fields are like two, three, four. I mean, they could just as easily be, you know, because they're coming from some other table. It could be a where clause. You know, like 2, 12, 27, 900. But I just want to add a field right at the beginning that's nice and neat and basically just adds, you know, like 1, 2, 3, kind of like this does over here, except that's not really part of the table. That's just, you know, there to kind of help you. Well, here's what you could do. There's a couple ways to do this. There's, um, and by the way, when I do this, since it's not really a key, I'm in the habit of just calling it row num, because guess what? It's a row number. I'm going to set it as an int and Instead of just saying int like this and with a comma like I did for this other guy, after int, you put a space. Now, the, the, the syntax is completely different when you're doing this for a temp table. Don't know why, but it is. But here, you do a space and then identity, and then if you're not you know starting it above something, just put one comma one. By just putting one comma one, it takes care of everything and it does what you want and watch how nice this works. We run this again and boom, we have this, it's one, two, three. All you have to do is say int space, the final frontier, identity, and then in parens, one, one. There is one other thing that you can do. I usually do if I remember, it's not necessary. It won't do anything else for you as far as what we're looking at and for the purposes we're talking about. But if you want to look extra cool and like impress the girl in the cubicle next to you or another person, um, you can just add that. It, it's not really going to give us any extra bang for the buck. But if you just want to have a, a, a dumb one and a dumb two and a dumb three ready to go so you can iterate through it later and do really magical things, int and then identity with the one one is all you need. You want to look extra cool and yeah, who doesn't, you know, impress the new guy, impress the boss, whatever. I, mean, I hear you then you could add primary key. Um, that's about it. it. It's really that simple. And then you can have at it and do what you want. Juggle, slice, dice, splice, thrice. Okay, that's it.